Hi everyone, I'm Christina Mendonca and I'm so happy to be joined today by Tom Daves. We're gonna talk real estate, but first Tom, I just wanna ask you, how are things going? How are you doing through all this craziness? You know what, we're doing okay. You know, I know that it's definitely crazy. Um, so we're, you know, I'm working out of the home. A little cabin fever to be honest with you right now, <laughs> but uh, we're being safe and the family is okay and doing well. How about you guys? I we are doing the same thing. A lot of workouts inside the home, which, you know, I'll be doing uh, cardio kickboxing upstairs and my husband's lifting weights downstairs. So it's odd. Um, and then both of our girls are home, our adult daughters. So they're with us too. And we're all in offices in different rooms, but, um, but we're safe. And that's, you know, the key to all of this, that we're all trying to stay inside. That's the main safe. thing. That's yeah. great. But you know, life does go on and I want to talk to you about the real estate market because things have changed dramatically. What are you seeing right now? I mean, people still have to buy and sell homes and I know that you're um, an essential provider. You've been named an essential provider. Right, so what I'm seeing right now is um, the volume is definitely down, but buyers are buying, sellers are selling. Um, we're seeing on average of about 150 new home sales every single day. Now that's in the Sacramento Placer in El Dorado County. Compare that to about a month ago, we were seeing on average of about 200 sales a day, but we're still seeing 150 home sales a day. So, and what I like to tell people is if you don't have to buy or if you don't have to sell right now, then by all means, don't buy and don't sell. But the truth of the matter is there are people that have to buy and that have to sell. So um, that's kind of what we're seeing out there right now. And I know that you have um, like a virtual system where people can do virtual open houses or show their house virtually where they don't actually have to have people come inside the house. Tell me how that works. Well, it's really interesting. Um, we have all had to really be more virtual with all of our marketing. We have virtual tours, we have drone, we have 3D, because so many people are at home right now, they have time to look at homes. So we really want them to have that experience where it's safe and they can really get a true idea of what the home is and what it looks like. And then of course, obviously, you know, literally everything is online now. We have, you know, there's DocuSign, documents that are able to sign online. Um, so it's, we've really been able to use technology in this market. But the bottom line is there are still people that, you know, they need to uh, physically meet with us. I'm going out on an appointment today with an 89 year old gentleman that needs to sell his home. And, you know, he doesn't even have a computer. So obviously, um, I will use all of the social distancing. I'll wear gloves and a mask and be very safe to uh, meet with him and help him get his home sold. So it's definitely um, adds a new twist to things for sure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's, um, it's interesting though, something you said that people are home a lot more now and they have the time to look. Because I find myself just kind of, even though maybe I'm not in the market right now, I'm perusing houses all the time. So this really is a good time to think about what you want if you are looking uh, to buy when this is all over. Absolutely. And it's interesting because we are getting more online viewers and more hits and more traffic online than ever. So I've found that the agents that use today's technology you know, with the drone and with the video and the 3D and all of the proper photos, they're able to really help and serve the clients. Um, I'm still, unfortunately, I'm still seeing some photos online that are, you know, some agents will go through with their iPhone and take photos. I mean, they take okay photos, but not as well as they could. They're not fun to look at. Not fun to look at, right? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely. And uh, talk to me a little bit about um, some of the clients or the people that you have come across. Because I know I've come across people who said, you know, I kind of started the process with one of those online national things where they are going to make me an offer. But this whole pandemic started and, and my contacts have vanished. No one's getting back to me. I've just been kind of left holding the bag. 
what, what do you what do you say to those folks and how can you help them well that's a great question because a lot of the online iBuyer companies the zillow the open door the um redfin all of these companies that were buying homes online and purchasing homes from people they basically have canceled all of their transactions and um, basically put people at a total pause and they're shocked. So for example, um, one couple that had their home in contract, they were um, with one of these online iBuyer companies, they were set to close escrow within a week and they, the con the cancel the contract got canceled so they called me and i literally listed their home yesterday and today we have already had four showings and we have a tentative offer coming in on it already so oh, that's it's great. it's amazing that that is great i mean it's i mean during a pandemic, I, I would think the additional stress and anxiety of having to deal um, with something you're not used to dealing with every day, which is buying or selling a house, how nice that um, you could be able to do that for them and get that thing sold. So talk to me about um, buyers, people who are looking out there to buy. They're, they're perusing online. They're thinking maybe this might be a good time to buy. I mean, you're, you're not as busy as you normally are, so maybe this is a great time to call you and ask some questions and and see if they could start a transaction. Well, with interest rates at record low, I mean, I heard a quote this morning, FHA is at two and three quarters percent. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is so low, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so with interest rates so low, and actually the inventory is still uh, relatively low, the buyers are able to really take advantage of, first of all, great interest rates and purchase a property but then they're also able to have good choices another thing that we're seeing happening is a lot of the tenants that are currently um, renting properties they're now now able to purchase the home that they're renting and in in many cases their mortgage payment will be less than the rent so it's a great opportunity for a lot of people out there right now it's pretty exciting that is, that definitely is. Okay, so how do people reach out to you um, and, and find out more of whether they want to buy, whether they want to sell, or even if they just have some questions about the current Sure, market? and if someone has any questions, even if it's uh, just wanting to know the value of your home, or if you need a care package, if you need any services, if you're a shut-in, I'm here to help and serve and support you any way that I can. And so the best way to reach me is to call me on my cell phone, call me direct at 916-296-5841, or you can go online, tomdaves.com. Reach out. Tom, we're so lucky to have you in our community. And I, I love the fact that you have the latest technology so people can reach out that way. But also, like you said, with the appointment you have today, you can actually show up and be there in person and help walk people through this because it's an uncertain time. It really is. And our number one, the main thing that's most important is the safety and the security of everyone in our community. Absolutely. All right. Well, be well, my friend. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Christina. See you soon.